and welcome to part three of our Shopping Season Insights series with Snap. I'm Jenny Baker, Assistant Editor at The Drum, but joining me to show us how it's done, we have Takara Baker, Product Marketing Manager Amea at Snap. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, it's great to have you here. So, look, every pound counts this season. Advertisers are fighting for attention, so they really need to stand out and increase discoverability. So what role does Snapchat play in that journey? Our app is um, a place that um, Snapchatters are using in a myriad of different ways. So we have five core tabs uh, to our app and we open to the camera, um, which is an area in which Snapchatters are engaging and really using visual communication. So for advertisers, that really translates into opportunities that they have within the camera and then also within our content to really speak to and reach Snapchatters with visual communication, um, but also with their standard ad formats. And so we really talk about advertisers using a really great, strong uh, multi-product strategy to tell a story uh, to Snapchatters and to really kind of bring them into um, understanding their brand, um, getting excited about the brand, but also driving down to purchase, which we know is important for the festive shopping season. Brilliant. Well, that's such a good kind of overview of the, the e-commerce capabilities on Snap. So I guess, you know, if we're turning this into action and offering advice on strategies, I know at Snap you have sort of four pillars of commerce. Um, so I was wondering if we could dive a little bit deeper into those. So stage one, where do they start? So the first one is Create, and um, Create is really about building a foundation on our platform that definitely starts with a public profile, and this is essentially a brand's identity on the platform. We have some advertisers doing some really great things with the profile. Reigns is a really good example, driving deep engagement with the profile on the platform. The other thing that advertisers can actually do on the profile is create a store. And this is also, I would say, very foundational to building a strong shopping experience on our platform because advertisers are essentially expanding their shopping surfaces on, on our platform. And so it's really important that they also are investing the time in creating and building the store. Okay, great. So now they've got the foundations in place, what comes next? The next step is uh, distribution. Um, and this is really where um, advertisers are thinking about how they're continuing to scale out their identity across the platform. So we have the capability for tagging products um, and you can tag products within stories. You can tag various products, of course, on, on the profile. We also have the capability for advertisers to work with creators. This is a great way in which they can build really rich and engaging content that they can distribute across the app. The next one is promote. This is all about the investment on the platform and really kind of using our strong ad formats that we have available um, to scale how you're promoting products to the Snapchat community. A really great example is our shoppable lenses that are really bringing that shoppable capability to the camera or things such as our dynamic product ad formats that are available for advertisers to use, really helping with that overall promotion. And do you have any examples of brands that have utilized these formats and you know seen success from doing so? Yeah, we've seen some really um, great success with, with Boots. They're a great partner of ours that recently used our shoppable formats and our e-commerce formats to drive awareness of a new makeup launch within their store. They leveraged our shoppable lenses, really showcasing how Snapchatters can use the products and engage with them. And they saw some really great lifts in metrics like brand awareness and purchase intent um, using these formats. Another really strong advertiser that we've done some great work with is Estee Lauder. They've done a lot of great work with our shoppable lenses. Shoppable formats have some really strong capabilities for beauty where you can see what do these products look like on my face without actually having to try them on. And Estee Lauder has done a great job of leveraging um, these camera formats to really drive trial, um, which also leads to purchase. Brilliant. Well, great examples there. And then to touch on the, the final pillar, measure. It's really important for brands to understand you know, what's happening with their investment and to have that holistic view of how Snapchatters are engaging, not only with their products, but also with the areas like the profile. So we offer a number of analytics that really help um, for advertisers to understand what I would call organic 
investment and also um, how that ties into their paid executions. Along with that, just understanding the investment that they're making on the paid side, we have a number of different measurement tools that allow advertisers to really understand success and to really drill down to areas like ROI and, um, and ROAS as it relates to, to the shopping season. So this is definitely uh, an important one um, and includes products like our Pixel, our reporting capabilities, um, or also our conversions API products, which we call Cappy. Brilliant. So Cara, thank you so much for outlining those four steps so clearly. I think um, there's plenty to learn there. So thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget, we've got the fourth and final part of this series coming up soon. So stay tuned. We'll be looking at how you can extend your shopping season strategy beyond the festive season. Mm -hmm.